Hey guys, Maritza here. Hope y'all are doing well. Well, the water heater is shot. Yesterday when I thought I had fixed it, <laughs> I um, all I did was there's a valve underneath the sink that allows you to bypass the water heater tank. Um, for instance, if you're ever going to be cleaning the water heater tank out, it's useful to, to not allow the water that's coming in from the main water source through the actual tank because then it's like a whole bunch of water mess. So it turned out there's a check valve that has like a two-way thing that allows the hot water to come through from the water heater, preventing it from going to the other areas so that the hot water doesn't ruin the pipes. Oh boy, okay. Um, Okay, I keep forgetting to shut the thing off. Sorry. Um, that's what was in the calendar. Ooh, I'm supposed to call in three minutes. Okay. Um, so then, long story short, I had to take a cold shower today, and I figured, hey, cold showers are are good, right? You you supposed to be really good for you. I've read a couple of articles because I, I've heard of people plunging into lakes and stuff like that. It's supposed to make you invigorated and young and, and it, it just like explodes all the nerve endings in your body and it's supposed to make your uh, synapses in your brain work better and all the great stuff. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure it's fantastic. But trying to take a cold shower in colder weather, <laughs> it's a... It's a um, formula for disaster. I mean, I just got rid of whatever thing I had that 103 fever. I'm like, I really don't want to like test fate. It was bad enough that I rode my bike today to the gym and it was cold and that wind was like blowing on my face. And I'm like, I could do this. I could do this. I'm riding my bicycle and I'm like, <laughs> like, okay, this, all this experience is really going to make me stronger. Right? So I broke down and I called the RV maintenance place that's going to be coming in a few days to check that out and then also look at the AC because that's going to be needed to be fixed. So I'm probably looking at a thousand and change um, and hopefully the water heater is not shot that it's just that valve that needs replacing and maybe a little cleaning, you know, flushing of the water heater and, and whatever else, you know, that could prolong the life of the thing. Um, you know, it's, it's life, you know, it's life. What, what can you do? Um, I wanted to point out, I wanted to touch a little topic here that kind of like rubbed me just, just a tiny bit the wrong way. Every time I've detransitioned and I start feeling comfortable with myself and I start expressing some femininity, I get people that either make fun of it, and some of these people that are making fun of it are trans themselves, trans women to be exact, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, how things, when the tables are turned, they don't like being made fun of. And trust me, this person that's making fun of me, I can make tons of fun of, okay? But I won't because that's not my nature. If I bring something, a, top, a topic regarding that is to point out helpful facts trying to save your soul, right? You know, it's like, I could care less what you wear, what you have on your face, what you put on. That's your business. It's definitely not mine. My business is to do what God is asking me to do, to bring forth the good news and to share the gospel. You don't want to hear it. You don't have to. I mean, I don't force anybody to come to my channel. I really don't. You know, if you want to watch because you're interested, great. But don't watch to make fun. You know, I mean, it's like, I don't go to their channel, people's channel to, to make fun of them. You know, it's like, what are we, five? Seriously, grow up. So I've been getting these other comments, you know, I guess a lot of the real, um, more androgynous type of females that don't feel comfortable wearing female clothing. And yes, there are female and male clothing. I mean, that's why we have the boys department, the girl department. It's not just you know, there, there is. I mean, it's like the same people that say that stereotypes are so overrated. Well, they became stereotypes for a reason. Um, 
So, somebody on Facebook had written something um, regarding the fact that lipstick and makeup, you know, that they've learned they're merely extra used to accentuate or enhance a natural beauty, but I guess they don't feel comfortable wearing makeup, you know, or those types of enhancement. Um, let's see here. In other words, they're trying to like, the way I took it, discouraging me from doing that and just be me and natural, which is great. I do. I mean, I'm not always wearing makeup. You see me wearing makeup when I go to church. Okay. Because again, as I answered here, and I, I'm going to read my answer because uh, her comment was pretty long and she talks about, and, and I believe is just justifying the reason why they don't want to wear makeup or wear girly stuff. And then they, you know, they say that father cares not about whether you're wearing a man's shirt unless you're wearing that shirt in order to identify some way with being a man. Um, and I agree. Women, especially nowadays, women have more laxity than men do. You know, if a, if a guy wears a dress, he's going to turn heads and people aren't going to be too happy with him, right? Um, but women have been wearing pants and T-shirts and just, you know, unisex type of stuff or more manly stuff and get away with it. And, and I, I'm all for that. I'm not saying, you know, I wear T-shirts. I mean, I didn't get rid of the T-shirts that I have. I'm, I like to be able to get some female tops and things like that just because I, and I've always, I've always done this. You know, this is nothing new. I've, I didn't transition because I didn't like women's clothing. I mean, I wasn't particularly too fond of wearing dresses, but there are certain dresses that I did wear. I like to wear sundresses and things of that nature. Stuff that I felt comfortable with. I just, I don't like clothes that are frilly, that have that material because of my um, hypersensitivity, but I have no problem wearing women's clothing. Um, as a matter of fact, even as, when I was identifying as a guy, sometimes I would wear stuff that I had bought when I detransitioned and my ex was kind of like, hey, that, that's a girl's shirt or that's a girl. I'm like, so I don't care. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Um, so, and let's see, I'm just saying it doesn't, ouch. So I said, first, um, I said, did you ever transition? Because that's an individual that, they're they're a Christian and and they um they tend to be in, in the more butchy side of, of the equation. And again, nothing wrong with that. Everybody has the right to express and dress as they feel. Um and <laughs> and then I get made fun of my mannerism. It's like I'm a biologically born female. This is how I used to be before I pretended to be this burly, hairy, bearded thing. And of course, I wasn't going to act like that when I was pretending to be something I'm not. But this is me. I was gifted and born biologically a female. You know, I have every right to express the way that a biological female would. You know, so here you have somebody who wasn't and they're making fun of me. It's like, it blows your mind, right? Um, all right, so I said, have you ever transitioned? You know, have you had your original biology altered by hormones, which makes it, which makes for a heck of confusion when dealing with people? For instance, I now use the female locker room. If I did not wear female clothing of sorts, added a bit of makeup to soften my features that were hardened by the use of, you know, the HRT, I would make every woman in that locker room feel uncomfortable and probably have the manager call called on me, you know? Um, and what else is that? I have no problems wearing men t shirt because frankly, women wear them too these days. However, because of my history, you know, I do have a history. Um, I find it imperative to lean more towards female clothing for the time being till I establish my real identity with those around me. I mean, people that knew me knew me as Mark. And so now I've got to, it's, it's, it's not easy. You know, people just, just don't get it. I find that people who are trying to justify their dress code have a problem with me and what I choose to wear now. 
It's incredible to me that I would get told how to dress or not. You're not the first to mention it because they're not. I've gotten this from several people. I've had um, radical feminists tell me that I should not wear feminine clothing and I, and I ask why not. I find that incredibly disturbing. I enjoy wearing a multitude of fashions. I, I always did. I mean, if you look at some of my older pictures, you know, when I was um, in relationships with my same biology, most of the time I was the female in that relationship and I wore the dresses and I wore, you know, I had the long hair. There was a time when I was like in my 19 or 20, I was still discovering myself and I was like rebellious and I would wear, you know, my man stuff and things of that nature and cut my hair. But I used to always, I used, you know what they used to ask me all the time? What are you, butchy or femme? And I'm like, I don't know. It depends how I feel. It depends how the person I'm with, if I'm with a butchy woman, I'm going to probably, you know, fit in the role of being more of the feminine one. I mean, the last relationship that I had um, prior to being with Violet, I was the, I was the mommy. I was the, the female in the relationship. I had long hair, beautiful long hair. And I, and I cooked and I cleaned for this person. And, you know, cause even in, in, in the biological, same, um, biological makeup, they, uh, there's roles being played. Kid yourself not. I mean, I don't know what planet some of these people are living in. Um, I transitioned because I was trying to cope with being objectified, dealing with childhood traumas, and the fact that I had a dragon mother, which did not give me the autonomy to choose my own style of clothing. I was now, you know, it was like, I was like a little doll. So not because I didn't like to wear feminine clothing, you know, so it's, and then I attached a bunch of the pictures uh, to this thread on my Facebook. I don't think many of you, unless you're my friend, will be able to see it because the person said it for friends only. But, you know, it, it really, <laughs> people have to throw rocks, but they don't look at themselves. You know, it's like making fun of me, and I'm not saying this person did, but other people have, you know, because of my mannerism, I'm a woman. This is how I've always conducted myself. I didn't do this when I played the Mark role because I was trying to be all Mr. Macho, you know? But <laughs> it, it, it's really intense that certain people, and then it's just like, get a life already, you know, get a hobby. Leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's like, there's nothing to see here, folks. For those of you that really have ill intent, I say switch the channel. Get a hobby or something, but stop watching my videos just to poke fun of me. I'm sure you don't like anybody to poke fun of you. And trust me, there's plenty to poke fun of. But that's not nice. And I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even waste my time. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully I get all this stuff fixed because cold showers, they may be invigorating, they may be healthy, they may be whatever, but gosh, it's like, and luckily I have one of those spray nozzle things that I could turn off, so it's like, zoom, oh, zoom, lather up, zoom, you know, because if it was like a direct, oh goodness, and especially in this tin can, it's pretty cold, you know, and I was going to put the heater in there, but I'm like, no. I'm going to muster through this. Just like I mustered through riding the bike today to the gym. It was like, oh, goodness gracious. The wind was just blowing on my face. And it was just something awful. Anyway, I'm excited. I've got um, a reoccurring guest tomorrow. And I have several guests set up for the next few weeks. Actually, I've got a, two guests on the upcoming Sundays. Um, you know, one of the things I used to love when I first created Transition Radio Show, which was back in 2012. Um, the person I was with and I used to interview trans individuals from all over the world. I mean, we had tons and tons from trans people to um, doctors that performed um, procedures on trans people. I have an older um, playlist called Older Transition Radio um, shows and i mean people from isis king i mean really famous people in the community um so i've been doing this for a long time but right now 
I love the fact that I'm able to share stories and people that have been redeemed. And for those of you that are not believers, I still don't understand why you watch my channel. My channel is a Christian channel, okay? The channel is a channel to help people understand that there are two choices. Transition, do not transition. You know, people are entitled. You don't just get to say what you want and how you want it and demonize everybody else. That doesn't work that way. You like to throw stones. We all have a right to express ourselves, to make comments, to share our opinions. You don't like them, you don't have to listen to them. That's simple. Seriously. I mean, it's like, I'm hoping they get tired because it's like, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to give them a time of day, okay? Because they're not worth my time of day. But it's like, all right already. And I keep getting people telling me, and it's like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to, like, waste my time watching things that make absolutely no sense from a person who's calling me crazy, who then, at least, you know, I've never had any diagnosis given to me. And I've been to therapists, and I've never been given a diagnosis. So... Just because I've transitioned and detransitioned, I'm just trying to find myself in, in, the, in the realm of things. And transitioning for me was a coping mechanism. And the past six years, you know, for whatever reason, in that relationship, it really sparked something in me that made me realize how precious I am because I was born a female. And, you know, I just, I don't know what I was thinking when I transitioned. Because there was no reason in the world that I had to give up who I was for something that was not functional and made absolutely no sense. But I digress. It's over. It's in the past. I am grateful that onward and forward, and I'm looking forward to the rest of my life. All right, guys, I love you. Tune in tomorrow. And um, yeah, a lot of great shows coming up. I love you guys. Remember to always love yourselves to love each other and love Abba, our Father. Bye-bye. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm.